What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com. Join me on the hunt for the best hunting products. Today I'm unboxing and assembling the Blackboard Disc Harrow. Now this will attach to the Blackboard Manual Implement Lift or the Blackboard Electric Implement Lift. Blackboard has an entire product line to put your ATV or your UTV to work so you can get that food plot in. Our friends at Blackboard are hooking us up with 10% off. All you have to do is go to blackboardatv.com, use code MOUNTAINBUCK10, all one word, MOUNTAINBUCK10, and you should be all set. Now this disc harrow is a beast. Look at the size of this box here. This thing is like 100 pounds. It comes with eight sharp steel discs in here that are gonna tear that ground up so you can get ready to plant a killer food plot. Let's check this thing out. First of all, I really like how they package this for you guys. They put everything for one disc hero on one side and everything for the other on the other side. There's no chance of getting confused with all different parts everywhere. They make it nice and easy for you, so I have it separated out in that way. Check out these discs. These are a good size here, guys. I mean, look at the size of these things. Look at how thick they are. That's going to be durable. It's going to last a long time and be able to tear up a lot of ground for you. You also get an instruction manual. It's really nice blackboard stickers here couple of axles, four bearings here, two for each side, some bolts, nuts, and spacers in here. We have our heavy duty selector plate here, and this is where you're gonna adjust your angle. So you can go anywhere from zero to 15 to 30 degrees on this, and we'll cover that a little bit more later on. And you have a bunch of various size spacers right here. Next, we're going to set up our spacers and components in order of assembly in order to install them on our axle here. We'll slide our first disc onto the axle facing up. Next, we'll put in a long, large end cap. Add the bearing. Short, small end cap. Add another disc here. Add in our center spacer. Add the third disc, slide in a large end cap, add in that second bearing right after, next a small end cap, finally our fourth disc here, followed by a short large end cap, axle washer, and hex nut. And just a quick heads up on the tools you're going to need for this thing. You will need a one and one eighths inch socket, a three quarter inch wrench, and a three quarter inch socket as well. Next, we're going to tighten this all down to 200 foot pounds. Next, we're going to install our selector plate and we're going to install this right inside the axles here. It's going to go in just like this and I'm going to lay it down just so it's easier to work with. Next we're going to add some carriage bolts. And once you get all eight carriage bolts installed, you'll want to tighten them down to 57 foot-pounds.
A nice ratcheting wrench like this one really helps save you some time in this part. Let's get these U-bolts installed. Now I'm going to set this up according to Blackboard's recommendations, but the instruction manual shows several different ways to set this up, which might be more beneficial based on your needs. First, we're going to add our U-bolt, a spacer, washers, and a couple lock nuts. Next, we'll add in our other side. And this is the recommended angle, as I mentioned. All right, so this thing is all set and ready to go. What a beast of a disc harrow. This thing is ready to tear up some ground. I'm gonna finish assembling this other disc harrow and then we're gonna get installed on that implement bar. So you want to position your disc harrow four inches from the end of your implement bar. Well, there we have it guys. Our Blackboard Disc Harrow is all set and ready to go. I'm going to be doing a full review video on this, so be sure to check that out along with my other Blackboard videos. Don't forget about that 10% off over at blackboardatv.com. Just use code MOUNTAINBUCK10 and you should be all set. As always, the links to the guys we talk about are in the description below. Guys, get yourself some killer mountain buck gear. Do me a favor, hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.